Welcome everyone to the finale of Metroid Prime. So we are in the impact crater and we have to traverse this place. And there's a scan here. And they are... Um, dude? There we go. They are called Lumigex. They're basically phase on enhanced reptiles or whatever. And um, you should kill them. Possibly works on them. They do a lot of damage because they are phase on enhanced. And they're actually like, um... Because it's phase on that can actually hurt you. For example, all this phase on here, as you can see, all of this. Um, yeah, it can hurt you. Despite you having a phase on suit, yeah, oh god, they're actually coming this way, aren't they? Shoot, they are. Okay, I think I killed most of them at least. Didn't I? I think so. Okay, there. That should be good enough. Whatever. Look at all these power-ups I love. I mean, luckily, I am at full, like, missiles and stuff. Or near full. Okay, this room right here is so freaking annoying. Basically, there are these thingies called uh, fission metroids. These guys are quite brutal. They are so damn annoying. They really are. You have no idea. Um, they're going to charge at you. Sometimes grab onto you and it's just... You'll see what I mean. You will see. Where the hell are you? Okay, what I can do is just, you know, kill them. Like that. Or at least delay them. Okay, where's the next platform? What the hell? Dude! I think I went the wrong way. What the hell? Oh my god. I think I went the wrong way, didn't I? Cause I look, that goes, I mean, I'll take this, but it's going down. Okay, actually it is the right way. So keep watching your radar, and keep watching for like, incoming enemies, new ones, uh, because eventually, if they, if they get you, like, if they charge towards you, and they get you, like, oh no, don't, don't you dare get me, don't you dare. I can just walk normally here. If he gets me, whatever, I don't care. Go, go, go. Okay. This right here is a missile station. The third and final missile station of the game. Yeah, what the hell did I just do? Whoops. Okay. So, we have to keep going to that door, though. Not this one. This is not the one. So, it was only like a little safe spot here, you know? But, let's see. Okay, so we gotta make a run for it. Let's go. By going this way. Oh, shoot. Wait, what the hell? What the hell? What? Oh, I gotta go this way. Jesus, you gotta be... Really? Um... Get over here. Get over here, both of you. Close. Please kill it. Darn it! It's too far. You gotta be kidding me. Now that one's gonna follow me, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Okay. Oh, shoot. What the... He's gonna get me. No, he did not. God damn it. This is unbelievable. Oh, I'm failing like crazy here. Um, get over here. I'm gonna get close to this one and kill them both. There. Because see, last time I also pulled a fail because I didn't kill them both with one. And you really should try to kill them both. Because there's always gonna be two on you. But never more than two. Okay, well there we go. We did it. After so many massive fails. So here you can take spider wall tracks or you can just be like me and take a few points of damage and that's fine. Just go through it. It's fine. Oh dear god. This right here is the boss, people. This is the boss. Yes, it's a crazy face. That's the boss. Well actually, you will see that it's not a face. I mean, it strongly resembles a face. But it's actually not. This here is known as, well, it is named after the title of the game. Actually, the title of the game is named, is named after him. But you'll see the name very soon. So just go ahead and follow him, you know? And here we go. This is Metroid Prime, people. The final boss of the game. Metroid Prime, highly evolved phase on producing life form. The aberration known as Metroid Prime is the source of Phazon, making it immensely powerful. Okay. Alright, so that's a flaw. Basically, the color that he is, use that same... What the... Fail. I didn't know there was a stupid platform there. Okay, the color that he is, just go ahead and keep shooting him with that type of weapon until he, um, you know... Switches, because he can switch. He will eventually switch. Just you wait. Okay, there we go, we got him. So in the beginning, if you get him just one time... He's going to, um, actually no, not quite yet. Gotta wait just a tiny bit more. 
So for the wave beam, you can use the wave buster if you want, or you can instead um, just shoot normally. And I just shoot normally because this thing will waste so many missiles. Like it's insane how many you will waste. So just keep shooting him normally like this, and it's always in his eyes. If the shot does not land in his eyes, it's actually going to, you know, reflect it back and... I mean, it doesn't hit you, the reflection. I don't think so. Okay, so, gotta follow him. And this boss, if you take a look at the map, you will see that he just keep going and going further. See? In the sub-chambers. Alright, so what color is he now? Okay. Purple again, whatever. I like when he switches to the ice color, because you can just use one ice spreader and then just one normal shot and you'll get him immediately. If he hits you with the beam, you can't lock on for a few seconds, so um, that does suck, but whatever. Okay, so now that there's these morph ball paths, go ahead and um, yeah, do that. Because any time he does it, like whenever you hit him a lot, he's going to not be in a color for a certain amount of time, and um, then he's going to charge you. There we go, Ice Spreader, and then just one normal shot, and bam, there we go, see? That's why I like the uh, Ice Beam, because the Ice Spreader is amazing. It really is. Okay, what's next? Uh, power Beam, okay? He hasn't changed to uh, Plasma Beam yet, he actually can, but he just hasn't for some reason. I'm not going to fire that just yet. Super Missile, get him, thank you. Okay, so these things, you, can actually, you should actually destroy them, because they will give you... A lot. What the hell? Okay, I can just skip them. That's cool. They'll do a lot of damage to you, but they also drop uh, power-ups. Health and missiles. Oh, shoot. Darn it, he's gonna get me right there. That sucks. Dude! Yeah, he can actually grab you like that. You have to um, be very quick and shooting him with the good stuff right away. Which can... What the hell? Just keep shooting them. I mean, yeah, he does do a lot of damage with some attacks, but I mean, if you are just... Oh, God. Did, did I destroy it? I think I did, right? I don't know. Oh, darn it. Yeah, they'll do a lot of damage, so be careful. See? I got some missiles. Okay, so now it's time for the Plasma Beam. Uh, do not use the Flamethrower, because you have to get really close, and you do not want to get close to him. Because, you know, he does some pretty high damage. Okay, um... Darn it. Hurry up. No. Oh, damn, it actually hit me. See? It actually... Oh, no. Hurry up. Shoot. It didn't get it in time because it takes... There's a delay when firing a super missile, you know? Okay, shoot that one. There we go, you got him there. That's good. Okay, I can get you this time. Haha. -ha. See, if you get him with a powerful blast in time, he will actually stop using that sucking move, whatever that is. Okay, what's next? Ice spreader time. What the? F Can't even see, man. That, what? Okay, that's cheap. Ice spreader. Got him. Normal shots. Okay. And he's down. Oh, that's it. Now it's time for the next floor. Subchamber, like what, five or something? I don't know. Alright, actually, where are we? Subchamber 4, okay. I believe this is the last one. Okay, so here, in Subchamber 4, he's actually going to start switching around his color quite a lot. Very often. I and mean, yeah, he can also do that, by the way. Dude, he can charge you, even when you don't actually hit him a lot. But yeah, we're, oh my god, stop doing that. Okay, let's try this again. Shoot him. You gotta shoot him a bit. I mean, seriously, okay, it's gonna charge again. I saw that that time. Destroy that. Ooh, nice. Oh, okay. Um, I can get you this time easily because I had the charge ready. Awesome. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and charge me now. Don't. Yeah, see, sometimes he can hit you like that. I don't know. That's weird. Okay, waving time. Oh, shoot. Shoot him, shoot him some more. See, I like the wave beam charge because it actually homes in on the target a bit. Which the other wave beams, like, they really don't do that, but the wave beam does. So generally, it's easier to hit him with the charge wave beam than other beams. Like, the super missile also homes in, so with the power beam, you have the super missiles that can home in. 
But the ice beam? Nope. And the plasma beam? Nope. Nothing. Oh god. No. Hurry up. Shoot him. Oh wait, what the hell? He actually didn't let me go that time. That was strange. Oh god. Okay, time for the ice beam now then. Get him. Did I get him? Yes, I did. Haha. -ha. There we go. Okay, he got me again. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. He's getting me when, when I'm actually using the method to avoid him, you know? I'm just saying. Okay, got him with the Zubrizzle. And he should be close to death. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Put some normal power beam bullets. You and your garbage. I just need to get him with one more charge. Or just one super missile fine. Be that way. Okay, so I got him. His health is all the way down and he's dead. However, we're actually not finished just yet. Because there is in fact more. And also, when I scan this guy, we will see if we did get all scans in the game. If we didn't, whatever. Like I said, I was worried about the expansions, getting all pickups in the game. Scans, if I missed a couple, whatever. But we will see if I really did get them all. Because we'll get an announcement that says you got 100% of scans. I think, I think we will, right? We should. Alright, the true final battle. Here we go. So, Metroid Prime, like this is like the real form of it. And we didn't get the alert, but, but like I said, okay, may maybe I could be wrong in that. Like maybe, okay, first of all, there's a lot of energy to pick up here, so go ahead and grab it immediately. Okay. Any more? Any more? Put some over there. Dude. But basically, what you're waiting for is for him to disappear. Okay, go ahead and absorb now. Yeah, like that. He's gonna disappear. And, um... There's a lot of energy. Okay, so, you want to stand in one of these puddles here? And also switch... What the... Hell was that? There you are. Okay. Stand in the puddle, you'll activate hyper mode, and then you can just go ahead and shoot. The phase on beam enables you to do this, and just, you know, shoot like that, like crazy. Okay, now he's gonna... What? Yeah, he disappears. And only one visor will see him at a time. So, like, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, but that does work. But sometimes it'll be... Okay, I should hold the charge just in case there's more, like, you know, energy. But yeah, your beams will not work. Your normal beams will not affect. Also, oh god, okay, gotta stand right here. Where is he? Where is he? Dude, trying to find him. There he is. I gotta stand here, though. Okay, no, I'm trying to get him. There. Jeez. Hyper mode. I mean, it's a bit confusing if you haven't played this game and you're looking at this and you're like, what the hell is going on? That's kind of the part that, like, it just sucks because you're using these other visors so you can't see, like, the real way that these things are looking. Like, you can't even see how the hyper mode beam looks. Because so far I've just been doing this, you know, attacking him like this. Also, does he have any Metroids with him? No, he doesn't. He eventually summons some Metroids to aid him, which is so freaking annoying. In the beginning, it's only normal Metroids, I think. Yeah, these, right? Yeah, so I can just get the Ice Beam and shoot him, and I'll be good. Okay. Okay, now I can actually see it because the normal beam is working. See, that's how it looks. It looks really cool. I mean, it does resemble the hyper beam from, you know, uh, Metroid Prime 3, I guess. Let's see, any other energy to pick up? I don't think so. I got it all. <laughs> okay, go ahead and disappear, Metroid Prime. Hurry up. Just gotta wait for that puddle to form. Okay, I mean, the battle's actually really simple. It is. Like, that's really the only attack he'll do. Just make those things and you just kinda jump. There we go. Okay, these are, um... Well, Metroid Hunters. We can blow them up easily. Gotta find one. There he is, there he is. Hyper mode. Get him. But eventually, the problem is that he will make a, um... You'll see. He will make fission Metroids, which is so annoying. And I guess we're gonna have to use a, um... Okay, what visor works? Nothing is working here. I can't even see what... What the hell is going on? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it just sucks when he gets close up. Like, you can't even see what the hell is going on. At all. Like, at all. Okay, hurry up. 
Make a puddle, please. Oh, damn it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Thermal time. Thermal visor. Make a puddle. No, no more of those shock waves or whatever that is. Can you please make your freaking puddle? Well, also, are there any more enemies? No, there are not. Okay. That's what sucks about the thermal visor. You can't see the, you know, radar easily. Gotta switch back to the normal visor. Okay. What the hell? No, he's still not doing it for some damn reason. He's like, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to make the freaking puddle. Well, fine. Then don't. Then don't make one. Actually, do make one because I... Like, seriously? Thank you. Okay, these, I believe, are... Yes, they are. So what I'm gonna do is get close by, put a freaking power bomb there, kill them all, of course, and then just um, switch to whatever the hell visor it is. What? Oh, there we go. Oh, dude. Get him, get him. I think that's it, right? Yes, I got him. Okay. So that is the game, people. We just beat the last boss, and um, it's a fun game. It really is. I mean, it's it's one of the longer Metroid games, and Metroid games are not too long, because this one took me, what, 16 parts? It's not a long game at all. It's just not. Okay, but yeah, we're gonna get some scenes here, you know? And this thing is actually trying to steal us or something. It took our phase on suit. Oh, damn. Run. <laughs> Run, Samus. Crater collapse imminent. Evacuate immediately. Now, the thing is, when I first saw this, I was like, oh man, we have to evacuate all the way to, you know, our ship. The weird thing about this game is that they actually don't make a, an end game evacuation. They don't. And I find that strange because, like, okay, if the game didn't have that, like, if the game didn't make an evacuation thing, then okay, it would make sense to not put an evacuation thing because evacuations are very, um, they're iconic to the Metroid series, you know, very iconic. So this would have been the perfect time to make a, you know, an end game evacuation. And yeah, we actually get to see how Samus looks. Her looks have changed slowly over the years. In this one, she actually looks a bit older than her newer Zero Suit Samus like physique, you know, and how she looks and everything. But whatever. I mean, yeah, you'll actually see that in Metro Prime 3, in Metroid Other M, Super Smash Brothers, actually, if you play that, you know, she appears in Brawl and in Wii U. And that's that. That is Metroid Prime. So like I said, Metroid Prime, uh, it, um, first of all, it was a very iconic game. It was a critically acclaimed game. And what's interesting about the Metroid series is that every game, except, I'm gonna say Metroid Other M. Yeah, 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 wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, every single game in the series has, has had really good reviews. And you don't see a lot of franchises like that. Because like I said, this one has every single game except Metroid Other M, which kind of ruined it. And now Metroid Prime Federation Force is going to ruin the franchise. We all know that. Oh my god. I'm pissed. So is everybody else. I can't believe they're releasing such a non-Metroid Metroid game, you know? But whatever. It just seems that Nintendo's doing their own thing now when it comes to making titles. Like... Holy crap, I mean, Star Fox Zero, and Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, which sucked, Mario Party 10, which they didn't learn from Mario Party 9, like, seriously? I mean, honestly, like, they have not made any good Wii U games or anything, except, like, okay, even Xenoblade Chronicles X was not as good as Xenoblade Chronicles, so whatever. Uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. Producer, I saw that right there. Awesome. That dude, man. Shigeru Miyamoto. A very well-known person. I'm pretty sure you know him if you are a fan of Nintendo. But anyway, that is Metroid Prime. Like I said, um, it's a great game. It's one of my favorites, actually. One of my favorite series, Metroid. Behind probably Final Fantasy and a few other ones, maybe. But the point is that it's a great game. Not extremely long. It's only 16 videos in length. That's That was its length. But 
If you did enjoy this series and you want to watch more Metroid Prime, um, go ahead and leave a comment and recommend me, like, if I should play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes at Let's Play in the, in the future. Because I like it too. I don't like it as much as Metroid Prime 1. But, you know, it's still a great game. I love it a lot. It's harder, that's for sure. It's a harder game. And, uh, you know, just hopefully, hopefully, um, people like that game too. Actually, hopefully you guys like this one too. Because to me, it's a special game. But, you know, it might not be for everybody because I'm pretty sure most people don't really, like, even if you're a fan of Nintendo, Metroid Prime is one that people would probably tend to avoid. First of all, it's a Metroid game. It's not as well known. It's more serious. It appears to be for older people, you know? Older as in, like, teens, not young kids, you know? And, I don't know. It just looks like it has a different target audience than, like, Mario or Pokemon, you know? Much different. But that's not a bad thing. It's just that it's for different people. And, you know, for myself, I love it. Oh yeah, by the way, we get a nice ending cutscene here. Of Sam is just, you know, flying off into the into the great beyond, you know. And I believe we get one more extra cutscene. Maybe. Mission final. Percentage complete 100 percent That only talks about items or not scans, I think. I think we missed some scans. I'm pretty sure we missed some scans. We also cleared in five hours and whatever. Which is a very good time. Okay, so here we get the final cutscene. The final, final cutscene of the game. What in the hell is that? Well, actually, that is the reason why Metroid Prime 2 Echoes was born. Because of that scene. Well, really because all of all the ending scenes of this game. Like, if you just know how to apply it, you know, effectively to the next game, then yes, you would know exactly what they're going for. So, that is Metroid Prime, as I said. It took 16 videos. Not an incredibly long game. Actually, quite short. Compared to most Let's Plays. I would say a Let's Play is short if it's less than 20 videos, which most are not. Well, actually, most iOS games are. Most non-iOS games are not. But that is it. So, if you enjoyed this episode or this series in any way, please be sure to leave a like and, of course, comment if you would like to see future, future Metroid games. I've already done what, Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion, and now Metroid Prime. So, thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.